Since its launch, the Audi R8 has won accolades, praise, and the lust of many a man and woman. More recently, it's also won on the racetrack, building credibility by winning races like the Nürburgring 24 and the 24 Hours of Daytona. For 2014, it's been updated and gains a new flagship performance model. This car, the Audi R8 V10 Plus. As though R8 and V10 weren't enough, this car gets even more. Like the body, the interior of the R8 is a work of art. I mean, look at this. I'm talking about diamond quilted stitched Alcantara, and that's just the headliner. The same pattern can be found flowing along the seats and on the doors, and this interior has tons of carbon fiber. I just love all of it, and there's huge amounts running down the center on the doors, the door handles, and you have to love this great detail here. You can see the carbon fiber, it's gloss, and when it wraps around the top, it's actually matte, and presumably that's so that it doesn't give off a lot of glare and blind you while you're driving. The Germans think of everything. Positioning itself as the one true Porsche 911 rival, the R8 delivers the perfect mix of exotic performance and daily drivability. Sure, it costs a chunk more than a 911, but in the bar scene of exotic performance cars, this makes the 911 look like the hot chick's ugly friend. Sure, it's had a mild design refresh, but you probably wouldn't notice. That's because after six years on sale, it still looks ultra modern. Updates for 2014 include slightly new headlights and taillights with full LED lighting, newly designed mirrors, and circle exhaust finishers. Plus, there are new wheel designs. The V10 Plus model adds even more style with a carbon fiber front splitter, rear diffuser, and side blades. Those components help it shed 130 pounds over the standard production model, as do other weight reduction measures. I'm talking about lighter seats, a smaller gas tank, carbon ceramic brakes, and reduced sound deadening in the engine bay. All said, it now weighs a modest 3,660 pounds when equipped with the all-new 7-speed dual-clutch S-Tronic transmission. So the R8 V10 Plus has less, but it also has more. The standard 5.2-liter, 525-horsepower V10 engine sourced from Lamborghini gets a 25-horsepower bump for a total of 550 horsepower. Torque also rises to 398 foot-pounds. With Quattro all-wheel drive, acceleration is a staggering 3.3 seconds with a top speed of 196 miles per hour. So have all those racing victories help evolve the R8's performance? Where better to find out than the track? <laughs> Up in power and down in weight, the Audi R8 V10 absolutely hauls. Something I'm not used to in a car is that it revs out so high. Usually that happens in less powerful cars, well as big engines are usually not that high revving. But this thing has a max power at 8,000 RPM. And getting it up there is a wonderful thing to do because it sounds spectacular. Six-speed manual transmission is standard, but most will opt for the seven-speed automatic. That's actually a new S-Tronic dual-clutch transmission and replaces the old single-clutch R-Tronic unit, and that's a big improvement for this car. The old unit was really criticized, particularly on the street, where it was just pretty jerky and ruined a lot of the driving experience. And I have noticed already that driving this car on the street is much more civilized. And here on the racetrack, the transmission is just so good. It reads your mind, it always puts you in the right shift, 
and the delivery of power is just so seamless. As the V10 Plus model, this car gets a more track-oriented suspension. Now, the regular cars use a magnetic ride control suspension, which is adjustable. This is really just one setting, and that's stiff. On the street, I do find the carbon ceramic brakes to be a bit touchy and they grab a bit hard, but here on the racetrack, it is definitely worth it. They've withstood repeated abuse and have definitely outlasted these Pirelli tires. In fact, the Pirellis are the one thing holding this car back. Like any true Audi, this car features Quattro all-wheel drive, although in the R8, it's particularly unique. It will deliver 85% of the power to the rear wheels, making this a pretty tail-happy car. The problem is, being a mid-engine car with all that weight back there, once it really starts to go, it really goes, and this car can be a handful. All said, this really is the most amazing Audi ever made. By now you may be thinking my opinion of the Audi R8 is about as balanced as a teenage girl's view of Justin Bieber. So in the name of journalistic integrity, there are a few things that aren't perfect about the Audi R8. Forgetting the price, it does have some drawbacks when compared to say a Porsche 911. For starters, the roof overhang is pretty severe and making it not that easy to see out of, especially when you're driving around in the city. On top of that, this model's suspension is also quite stiff. It's not unlivable by any means, but the adjustable magnetic ride would be nicer if you're really gonna use this as a daily driver. Anything else? Well, sure, the cup holders suck. So apparently it's like a Porsche in that way too. A true everyday exotic, I'm not sure what's more amazing about the Audi R8. That it looks this awesome and goes this fast, or that six years on sale and it's still this good. And with updates for 2014, including this $179,000 V10 Plus model, it's right at the front of the pack. It's also the fastest car we've ever tested here at TMP, which we affectionately refer to as the Auto Guide Test Track, posting a 116.3, nearly four seconds a lap faster than any other car we've ever tested. 